look, selling is a prerequisite for your life. Selling is the prerequisite, in fact, for all the success you're going to create in your life. No matter what you do, no matter what your job is, no matter where you are, regardless of your career, selling, yes, selling is for you. Selling impacts, in fact, every person on this planet. Your ability or inability to sell, persuade, negotiate, and convince others affects every single area of your life, and it will by itself determine how well you survive. Look, no matter your title or your position, no matter how far you get in life or where you are in life right now, no matter your role in the company you work for or your team, whether you're the CEO or the janitor, you will at some point have to convince others of whatever position you're trying to convince others of at that time. What I mean by that is what do you believe in? Not what do I believe in? Or what do other people believe in? What do you believe in? Can you sell that belief? That's what sales is. It's not always about selling a car or a roof or a service or a product. Can you sell your beliefs? Can you sell your ideas? Can you communicate your concept, what you're thinking, your dreams? Can you convince others that your position is more right than theirs? Everybody has to do this. See, your ability to do this impacts you in ways that will determine the very outcome of the future of your life who you live with, where you live, how well you do, how much money you make, how much money you don't make, the investments you make, whether you can sell those investments, what you buy. Selling is used every day by every person on this planet. And no one, no one, no one, no one person, no matter where you are on this planet, no matter your position is ever excluded. I know a lot of people running away from this game, but you can't get away from it. Selling is not a job and it is not a career. Selling is a way of life. Selling your ability to do well in life. Selling is your ability to do well in life, to survive, to prosper. Like if you could change your mind, this isn't just a job or a career. It's not, I'm, I'm selling insurance. Selling is how well you do in life, how well you can survive, how well you prosper. Imagine you, you become a rich person. You, become, you, you end up with millions of dollars. It doesn't mean you're prospering. How, can you take it to another level? Can you sell yourself and your family on, hey, we're not good enough now, we can go to another level so that we can actually raise money for the hospital needed in some third world country. So your ability to do well in life, to survive, to prosper, to go all the way, to create your financial scene exactly the way you see it, depends solely on your ability to sell others on the things you believe in. I'm not talking about just selling products again or services. I'm talking about you selling yourself and others on the things you want to do with your life. Hey, look, in life, you need to know how to sell, and you also need to know how to negotiate. And even if you don't think you need to know how to sell, because, oh, I'm not a salesperson, I guarantee you, you will have to negotiate some of the most important things in your life. You will have to negotiate with another person to convince them, or they convince you, of their negotiations are more important than yours, or your negotiation is that thing you're trying to convince or get is more important than theirs. You're gonna buy a house one day, maybe, or you're gonna sell a house. Maybe you're like, Grant, I, Grant, I'm not buying a house, I wanna sell my house. Okay, good. If you're not gonna buy or sell a house, then you're gonna rent a place. You're gonna rent a place, where are you gonna rent? Do you want the best value for your rental, in, for, for, for what you're gonna pay? Is it gonna be 10 months, 14 months, 18 months, six months? What if you get into a place and you commit to it for 14 months and you need to get out of the place because you're moving, then you're gonna to have to negotiate breaking the lease. Look, you're gonna get a job, hopefully you're gonna get a job. Maybe you're gonna change jobs or change positions or get a promotion. You're going to have to negotiate that job, that pay, et cetera. Do you want a bonus? Are you gonna get a salary? Do you want a salary and a bonus? What are you worth? What can you negotiate? You know, it's said that you don't get what you're worth, you get what you can negotiate, and that's sales. You have to know how to negotiate. You have to know how to get another person's position in agreement on some point and then move them to your position or agreement on that same point so that you can move yourself through your life. The ability to get others to like you, well, unless you're just the most likable person on the planet, everybody just, whoa, I like this guy so much. I like her so much. She's phenomenal. Unless you have this like this, this vibe, which would be a little weird if everybody likes you. The ability to get others to like you is selling. The ability to get others to work with you, to support you, 
to, to want to be on your team and want to get the target of the goal accomplished is selling. Being a manager is a sales position. Being the CEO, saying, I'm going to Mars, that is selling. Getting investors is selling. Getting the stock of the company up and people believing in the company and the profits is selling. The, the ability to get people to want to please you, your wife, your husband, the kids, look, that's selling too. The ability to get others to make you feel good and want to do things for you is selling. It's not just brown nosing and sucking up. Anybody can do that, right? Because they have position. Look, selling is unavoidable. You're the cameraman. You're Johnny. You're shooting camera. I got to sell. I got to sell in my off time. I got to make myself more valuable in the marketplace. Selling is unavoidable. It determines now how well you survive in life. Selling is not a job. Yes, it is, but it's not. It's not limited a job like most people think. Oh, I don't want to be a salesperson. Look, look, you can't get away from this thing. Selling is a way of life. It's like, I don't want oxygen. Yes, you need oxygen. It's mandatory. The Merriam Dictionary, the Merriam Webster Dictionary says that selling is the action of persuading or influencing another to some course of action or to the acceptance of something. Selling is an action of persuading doesn't mean it's a job. It doesn't say it's a job. It doesn't say it's a commission involved. It doesn't say you get paid to sell somebody. It doesn't say it's, it's, a, it's a crummy position to be. It doesn't say selling is uh, some way to huckster or sell a pen or trick somebody or manipulate. It says it's an action of persuading. Have you ever persuaded anyone to do anything? Look, you were selling. Did you ever try to convince your school teacher to give you a better grade? Did you ever try to convince your mom or, or your dad to, to take you somewhere they didn't want to take you? You're selling. You ever try to convince your kids to get to school in time so they could get a good grade or, or you just want to get them out of the house? That's selling. The action of persuading or influencing someone else, another, to a course of action or to some acceptance of some thing or idea. I'm trying to convince you to vote for somebody. I'm selling. Who does selling not impact? Look, when I say selling right here, I'm talking about anything, literally anything, anything could be selling. Anything that has to do with convincing, persuading, negotiating, debating, or getting your way. And it could include debating. It could include an argument. It could include the resolution and would of an argument. It could include getting along with someone. It could include resolving some old disagreement. Exchanging goods and services is obviously selling. When I convinced my wife to go out with me for the first time before we were married, that was selling. When I followed her up because she wasn't interested, that was selling. As I get married and 16 years into the marriage, I have to continue to sell. You're buying a home, you're selling a home. You're buying a car, you're selling a car. You're renting an apartment, ending the lease on the apartment, extending the lease on the apartment. You're buying an office building like I did right here, okay? I'm fixing this uh, beautiful classroom that we have. What floors do I want? I got to convince other people this is the right floor to use, okay? They want to put tile in. I want to just do, you know, polished concrete. That's selling. Who's going to get their way? Oh, Grant, I'm buying a home today. Well, then you'll have to sell someone on the price you're going to pay. If you're going to go out and buy a house, heaven forbid. You're going to have to convince someone of the price you should pay. You're probably going to have to convince the seller that you only want to play X price. Then you're going to have to convince the broker is the fair thing to do. Then you're going to have to convince your spouse, yeah, we should pay this much. Then you'll have to convince the bank to give you a loan. You'll probably have to convince the appraiser that it's actually worth what you pay. See all the people you got to sell? Closing the bank to give you a loan is selling. It's not just getting a loan. Unless you think it's just getting a loan. You cross your fingers, I hope they give me a loan. No, you got to sell them on getting a loan. You know, when I first shot this series, I didn't own $1.3 billion worth of real estate. $1.3 billion worth of real estate. Okay, I was telling you guys and myself and others back then, look, if you want to buy real estate, you have to be a salesperson. Listen to me. When I'm buying a deal, I'm having to sell them on selling the deal to me. Starting your own business is clearly selling. Expanding your business is selling because you've got to convince people to get out of their comfort zone. 
getting your spouse to go out with you or to go work out or you to work out is selling. You're going to need to sell a lot of people, a lot of things all the time throughout your life. You're going to have to sell the bank on financing, funding. If you're going to get in real estate, you'll have to get it. I borrowed, I don't know, about $700 million. I had to convince the lenders to give me the loan, then I'd pay them back. See, all that, all that is convincing someone to do something. Persuading others to support your ideas. Getting a customer to buy a product from you is what most people know is selling. And we'll cover that here too. Look, it is said that the number one reason a business fails this is from the big schools, the big smart schools, the big heavy, high dollar rich people schools. Okay, you guys borrow all this money to go to schools, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they tell you the number one reason a business fails is because they're undercapitalized. Look, I don't believe this to be true. The number one reason, in my experience, that businesses fail is because first and foremost, the ideas, the company's ideas were not sold quickly enough in volumes great enough and at prices high enough and that then found the company undercapitalized because an undercapitalized company my first two companies were undercapitalized what we did was we outsold the undercapitalization meaning i didn't have any money to start my first company because my daddy died when i was 10 he wasn't there to pick me up he wasn't there to fund my company i didn't couldn't get a bank loan so i had to sell my way out of this situation when you can't do that, you know, you, you, there's no amount of money, no amount of money in the world, unless you're going to go to Wall Street and just raise money, no amount, amount of money in the world uh, uh, will allow you not to run, run out of money. So when Harvard says the number one reason a business fails is because they're undercapitalized, it's like, no, no, no. The number one reason a business or a household or an idea fails, an individual, a team, the CEO, no, the number one reason you fail is not because your personality, not because people didn't like you, you ran out of money. Why'd you run out of money? Because you couldn't sell your product. The number one reason a household fails and a marriage breaks up is because they run out of funding and there's financial stress because somebody in that household couldn't sell products in quantities great enough, at prices high enough to provide financial stability and security for the household. The inability to move your products into the marketplace, to move your ideas and your services into the marketplace, to raise money for your charities will prove whether you're successful or a failure. The guy that created Velcro, some of you are so young, you're young, you're like Velcro's just always been on planet Earth. No, it hadn't. There's a person that actually created this product and sold it to the world. That person created Velcro, sold the world on something it had never asked for. The world did not ask for automobiles, by the way. That happened because some guy, the world did not ask for this product right here when it was created. Nobody was asking for this phone, this device, pictures in their hand, okay? Some person decided, hey, I'm gonna take this product, an $1,100 product, and I'm gonna bring it to the world, and I'm gonna get money from them. If you're gonna come up with some brilliant idea and present it to the world, you better sell it. Otherwise, you will fail. And the world made the Velcro guy rich. The world made this person, Steve Jobs, well-known and rich because he sold the idea. And many of you have ideas today. You have great ideas, you have unbelievable ideas, but you refuse to sell them because you don't know how. The ability to sell your idea will determine your survival. No business owner can build a business without understanding the critical element, this critical vital element called selling. And everybody's trying to avoid it. Everybody's like, I don't want to do that. This is the oxygen of your business and your idea. Think of any action in life, any action, and I assure you, there's someone at one end or the other trying to sell or not buy to prevent or make happen something in that moment. Learn everything you can about selling. Your life, your dreams, your future depends on one thing. I mean, many things probably. It's probably an exaggeration, it's one thing, but the ability to sell and convince and negotiate and persuade others to take action is essential to your survival and the well-being of not just your business, but every living being on this planet. And that involves you.